red. I just vacuumed everything with my shop vac. I got my military G43976B glove on for acetone. Acetone's the only way to remove fiberglass. So we do that right up nice. See? Good job. I'm trying to hurry this up so I don't waste all your time. See? Make sure you don't leave this in the sun, this acetone. It dries out. I'm not kidding you, I've seen a gallon, half a gallon of it just dry in a tray I had in about 10 minutes out here. Now I'm going to put this stuff in. And I didn't use this for almost 24 hours and it still worked perfect, see? That's why they don't show you that because you're not so impressed with it anymore after using it a hundred times. See? Two of them, the hardener's a little slower. One of the hardener. Now, it wasn't that easy. You're perfect. Good to go. Make sure you put these gloves on now. And carry an extra pair in your pocket in case something becomes too overwhelming. I didn't mix it till it's up on the boat because it's sunshine in about 85 degrees. And I didn't mix a whole lot because it will harden. Maybe beyond real time now. You really mix it a little better than that polyester crap, but not like they do. I don't know what they're doing. They must have got too many school lessons or something. Then you get one of these chip brushes, a whole box of them at Harbor Freight for like 10 bucks a case. And then I already got wax paper under that hole there. See? And for some reason, there's wires ran through the like the reinforcing member of the bulkhead. Oh yeah, and I cut up all this scrap fiber to stuff the hole there. It's a little overkill, but uh, you know, that's the way we roll. But see, I'll show you what's nice about these gloves. Watch. See, you can just saturate that stuff right in your hand. Like I said, the glove might get overwhelmed. And then you can just stuff it down in that hole. See? And put some more in there. See? And it's right up the bar. And notice how we don't mess around. Because we work for ourselves in the sun. Now see how I use my hands? That's what's nice about these gloves. And since I'm using a chip brush, which is a throwaway, I don't even have to worry getting that all messed up. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's not going to leak there again. Oh yeah, and I cut these out with a stencil I made out of cardboard from the cereal box. You know, this stuff right here. Great value, crunchy raisin bran. Yeah, if you're going to be a sailor, you got to get used to eating that government camp food. Hell yeah. If you're not, you're not much of a sailor then, is he? Here. See, we should have been way ahead of ourselves. You gotta watch you don't cut your fingers off with these scissors now, son. Make sure you get a thing from your mother first that you can use it. And now I've got the special surgical tools. See? I put them in there because I said so. Mm -hmm. It's really anal, but who cares? I'm doing it. We're moving along at such a good pace here. I don't care if it's anal or not. See? That stuff's setting up right now in that bottle. So, that's good enough, see? Now, we'll just slack, shellac it all down with the resin. And I also have these all pre-cut. See that? And then we just put two of them there. And now, we're going to have a professional job instead of some creepy homeowner job. And believe it, my friend, 
That's gel coat. The real stuff. Yes, it is. And look, we got done. So, put it behind this. Not sure if the sun makes it dry faster or not, really. But I will tell you this. These scrap pieces are just as good as milled fiber, which I should be using. But uh, you know I'm left-handed, don't you? So, I don't want to confuse you. Because you know why I'm called Horatio, don't you? Because I do know the difference. Yeah, see, you know, just stuff them holes rather than just fill them in with gel. See that? And also, it's not coming out because I got wax paper taped to the other side. I can come back. It's just like a joint compound. You don't want to go too crazy with it. No. No, you don't. Because you can just come back with that chisel I showed you and cut them tops right off. Just like that. A couple seconds and you go, boy, that was really stupid. Wasting all that time. fiber because I think this stuff's right here laying here and believe it or not I forgot to do this cut enough of that up and mill fibers in the workshop so we're going to improvise and adapt and overcome is that how you say that my friends I believe so okay you go bulk up all right and I'll do this Improvise, adapt, and overcome. And you go bulk up like um, a rod. Oh, a rod. That's right. Yeah. I don't think it's the same organization, though, is it? Yeah. I'm not even sure they know what that means. Yeah. How much does a rod make, and how much do you make? Exactly. I don't think he's in the same ball club as the rest of us. No. So, what have you done for me lately, A Rod? That's what you have to ask yourself. What have you done for me lately? Oh, this rod, you just get them anywhere. Just crap you're throwing out a nail or anything. Just keep stuffing it in there and you have a nice epoxy stuffed hole instead of that crappy stuff that they try to sell you. Let's see. That's right. Look at that, see? It's already gelling up. See, there you go. At this point, on there nice look at that you can feel that that's like that plastic thing is about oh my god it's about 250 degrees right <laughs> Ow! it's like I just touched a frying pan really it just heats up that fast and hardens it's junk see I already mixed too much but now like I said we got extra gloves put the new glove on. How much are we into this now? I hope not 10 minutes. If I'm to be paid all that big money. And then this, push this all down nice and it gets all the air bubbles out. But the corners, yep, you don't want that. No. See that? Just push this right down. 
See how I'm knitting it in the corners with my fingers? Oh, you get a nice seal that way, all the way around. I'll push down in that hole again. And it's just lovely, I tell you. Don't get any better. Let's cut this off. Let's see why. It's getting near 12 o'clock. And we're getting some thermals. I'm just going to make the wind come. robberies and shooting and the people that drive in the people's houses on the news. It's amazing how nobody knows how to drive today. So there you go. I'm going to go watch the news while that sets up, which will be by tomorrow. And just to make it better, I'll put that there, see. And then it won't blow away. Yeah. There we go. Take the acetone away because it'll dry up. Like I said, this will chisel that right off there when it dries. Just, I don't know about like after like a, two weeks of drying, but uh, yeah, it's all the longer your surgeon works on you. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. I guess you were wondering what I did with the chisel. I have to sharpen it. I put it on this belt sander and I sharpen it sideways, and it's freaking pretty sharp. I don't know if I'd worry about shaving on it. That's about all I do, and I'm done. So yeah, usually, like, if I go to school, I usually incorporate it into my theories, and then I usually take off, like, a rocket ship on my own, which they seem to despise, even though that's what they teach. So I don't know. They seem to be hypocritic, and maybe that's what the commander-in-chief should work on right there for starts. And I wanted to show you how easy this this. Uh stuff just peels right off. See? And, and to get a good guidance, you just use a knife and hold it at the lowest angle. See, look at that. some better he just guillotine it off. So there it is, see? I didn't have to fart around like you do with the grinder. See look at that. See? Don't have a mask on either. Same thing over here. To the borderline, as Madonna would say. Okay, now we're digging up too much. So, yeah, we just do it lightly like that. You did such nice work there. That one's not so bad. But now that's ready for fairing. See how nice we got the corners in there? Actually, uh, I lied. You want to sand it with some of this stuff. I think this is uh, 600. Make sure you use 600. Yeah. 600 minus... 440. And now we're ready for the fairing compound, which will level that right out. All nice. Now we don't have to worry about the Beatles song, Fixing a Hole, where the rain gets in. It stops my mind from wondering. Now here's another nasty spot we fished. Yeah, you don't really want to screw around grinding that yet. Anyway, it's called a DA. It stands for duck's ass. Yeah, 
Oops. Remember that. Tell him you want the duck gas. Sander. And you'll be fine. See that? We're done. But we have a lot of this stuff here. Why don't you eat that, will ya? Since you like it all over you. See, look at that. Didn't even have to wash. It's not all over my clothes. By the way, it's like freaking 110 in the sun. It's why it's dried already. It's like, only took a couple hours. You know, in the evening when you do this, it really lasts long. That's the best time to do it during the summer. But what are you gonna do? You gotta do it when you can do it. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. You have a nice day there.